So in this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to arrange our faux dahlia and chrysanthemum arrangement. And I just quickly want to talk about dahlias and chrysanthemums because I started growing dahlias in our garden about three years ago now after my mum bought me a plant for my birthday. And then I became slightly obsessed with the cafe au lait and started growing tubers from in our own garden. And I do absolutely love these. And years and years ago, they were probably considered quite old fashioned. Um, but the cafe au lait totally like captivated my heart. And this is probably one of the best, or is the best, cafe au lait faux that I've ever seen. Um, it's just got them really lovely kind of apricotty, peachy tones to it and the petals and this bud, realistic foliage. So yeah, it's safe to say that I'm a big fan of these dahlias. And then when it comes to chrysanthemums, um, again, in the floristry kind of world, they, they have got a bit of a bad reputation for quite some time because of their colour and... Um, they don't have the most pleasant scent and stuff like that, but thanks to kind of new varieties that have come along in the last few years, they've really shone again with these incredible varieties of like the Vienna coppers, which this one is really reminiscent of. Um, and it's just got them lovely, really showy petals, but quite a, a muted soft pink tone, which I just love for autumn. And then we've also got this in, a, in an ivory tone with almost like a peachy cream center there, which this one actually really works well on its, um, with our green foliage as well, but I'm, I'm popping it in here just for a bit of brightness. Um, so yeah, we'll get into arranging them. I'm using our Freston medium vase here. It's got a narrow neck for support. And this arrangement also suits our classic vase, which you'll see in photos on our website. But this um, neck is an eight and a half centimeter opening. It's 30 centimeters high, and it's about 20 centimeters wide. Um, and I'm, you've got three of the Café Olay Dahlias, um, two pink croissants and two ivory croissants. And I'm going to be starting with the Café Olay Dahlias. Um, and because these have got the wire all the way through, they're really good to manipulate and move in different directions. Because we're styling these en masse, you want this to look very natural and unsymmetrical, <laughs> if that's even a word. So I'm going to be very considered about the placement on these. You can't really go too wrong, but there's just a few little tips that I wanted to share. So I've got that one in kind of at the front facing slightly off to that way. Um, and then I want one slightly taller, probably not tall enough, probably about there. Kind of going in at the back a little bit, uh, just about there. And because it's a bit alone at the moment and there's not many others in there, it will need a few of the other stems in to be able to support them. So don't worry too much if you don't get the placement that you want straight away. And then I'm just manipulating the stem just to bend it slightly and make it feel a bit more natural and realistic. Um, and I'm going to have this one slightly over here, slightly lower than this one, maybe facing forward, whereas these ones are facing to the side. So probably about there. And that maybe feels slightly too similar height to that one, but if you just stand back and have a look, you might go just a touch taller with that. And this is the beauty of faux. You can just re-bend your stems. You don't have to worry that you've cut too much off them or uh, anything, so yeah. Okay, so I'll leave those for now and I'll add in our pinks. And I want one right at the bottom there of these. So again, just fanning out that foliage, bending the stem a little bit, be slightly lower. And I'm really bending the stem so that it's one, it's easy to take out once you've popped, once you kind of rearrange them or move them. Um, and also you get a really, it's easier to arrange them. And this one I'm going to have slightly taller, coming off to this side. And then our ivories. It just adds, I just don't think you can not look at these dahlias and croissants and not smile. I think they're such a cheerful 
arrangement to walk into a home with or your bedroom or the kitchen, just really pretty. And then this final white one, I'm going to kind of have at the back, but facing towards me, just so it looks really nice from all angles. It's going to be quite tall, about there. And now that you've got lots of stems in here, it just becomes really easy to manipulate all of the placement. I've just made that tiny bit too low. I'm just going to try and work it out. But because I've bent the stem, that's never, never as easy. So about there. And just want to have a really good stand back and have a look and make sure that we're happy with the placement. So I just want to bring this pink one out a touch, just to create a bit of width there. Manipulate them buds, make them and bend in all different directions. But yeah, I think I'm happy with that. No earwigs hiding in those uh, petals either. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy arranging your daily and croissants arrangements and I would love to see how you get on. Thank you so much for watching.